All right, so there's just some settings that we're gonna have to tweak in here um, to get the best Google Cardboard experience. Now, a lot of these are settings that I've just sort of played around with and just kind of figured out that they seem to work best with Google Cardboard. Because this mod, Minecraft mod was actually written to use the Oculus Rift, um, there's some little adjustments that is probably best to make to work with Cardboard. So I know it's so hard to see here. Um, and we, we're going to change this as the first thing we do. So go to Options, if you can see this. Go to VR Settings, which is a new Settings tab we have up here now. Go to HUD slash Overlay Settings. And under HUD Size right here, slide this all the way up to 2.50. Um, I don't know why it's so small. I don't really know what it is about the Oculus Rift technology that they thought that a HUD size that small was good for. But um, with Google Cardboard, I definitely suggest sliding this all the way up. Um, a couple other things I think might not be a bad idea to tweak while we're in here is the HUD vertical offset is at zero. Um, so the thing with virtual reality viewers like Google Cardboard is that really only what's directly in front of you is completely in focus and everything else that's sort of around you is like a little bit harder to make out. Um, you don't kind of get crystal clear vision all around you. You get crystal clear vision right in front of you, but because of the way the lenses work, it's a little bit harder to see and read stuff as you get further and further away from that. So you really want to configure your settings to make sure that the most important aspects of your HUD, um, such as your inventory window, uh, your inventory items, are more or less in the center-ish of the screen, but not like directly in the center because that's kind of annoying. I found that a vertical offset here of about 10 helps us to accomplish that. Um, that's a pretty good in between. Um, HUD distance, this setting right here, is basically in a 3D world, um, how far away is the HUD from your face? Um, this was a little bit close for my own comfort level. I boosted this to about 1.39 um, and it kind of pushed it away a little bit. Um, I found that that was uh, very helpful. Um, and so then I went to this overlay slash crosshair settings and it's up to you but you can decide whether or not you like to see the crosshair in the middle of the screen when you're playing. To me when I'm using this headset it's more just distracting than anything else so I just turned off show crosshair up here. I thought that that was um, a little bit just nicer. Um, so then you can hit done to go back to this menu, then hit done to go back to this one. The next thing we're gonna look at and adjust is this move slash aim control. So if you click on that. So you remember how I said that um, what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna make it so that as we move our head inside the Google Cardboard, we want our mouse cursor to move basically. We want moving our head with the Google Cardboard to basically be the same as moving our mouse back and forth. So in this menu right here, we want to choose mode mouse. Okay, we're good there. Um, and then for keyhole width and keyhole height, I believe that the defaults of these are, I don't know exactly what they are, but I hugely suggest fully coupled. This will keep the crosshair right in the center of the screen um, and it just allows for the smoothest movement. Uh, you can play around with it a little bit, but I definitely suggest those two. Um, decouple look slash move. This, these settings in cursor relative to body don't really have any impact on us because we're basically simulating the mouse cursor as head movement. Whereas these are for the Oculus Rift. Uh, where this program allows you to move your head separately from your mouse cursor, but for all intents and purposes um, With the Google Cardboard as Minecraft exists now These do not change anything uh, with what we're doing 
This pitch effects camera setting though, however, you absolutely have to turn this on because this won't let you look up and down without it. This just allows you to look left and right. Um, yeah, you absolutely definitely need this on. So uh, I think that's good with that screen. And now we're gonna go to the stereo rendering icon right here. Um, for a mode, we'll keep Oculus Rift right here. I think that there's only one setting here that I think is probably a good idea to turn off is this vignette setting. This basically blurs the outside edge of the screen. I don't really understand what that's all about, but I think turn it off to make nice solid outsides so you don't get that weird vignetting is so much more comfortable and I'm not really sure why they do that. Okay, so that should be pretty much good for the VR settings that we need um, in order to use Google Cardboard with, with this. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Into Game program in order to stream what's on our computer screen to our phone and also do the head tracking to allow us to set this up.